beautiful face of the leopard in the sun and he's still cleaning himself quite a lot now I wonder um, why did he perhaps have a kill did he feed on something I'm not sure but as I said uh, now, James, you say you think it's Tumba, and I think you're right. That young male leopard, the son of Tandi, uh, dominant female in the area. But as I always say, I know it's always wonderful to see which leopard it is, but it's still a beautiful leopard and just wonderful to see. There we go, he's up. Oh, look at that, wow. Stretching the claws. Now leopards do that from time to time. They stretch and clean their claws. They'll um, grab, uh, grab tree trunks or branches like this. <laughs> that is wonderful. See, hopefully he comes this way. Are we going to get a nice view of him? Yeah, I, it, I think it is that young Tumba, to be honest. Yep, apparently a lot of you all agree. Where is he going now? He's going to make this difficult for us, isn't he? <laughs> Well, luckily we've got a nice view of him, but it's very thick here. I won't be able to drive straight through there, that's for sure. Well, camouflage, but we got a lovely view of it. Oh, that's nice. He's uh, making it a bit difficult for us. But luckily we've got a great view of him. Look at that. Oh, he's such a beautiful young leopard. I do enjoy seeing this young male. Charles, you agree, you say he is a handsome young male, a handsome boy? He definitely is. OD farming, you say, he's got beautiful eyes. He does, he really does. Um, I mean, all leopards, I th you know, I always joke around, but I don't think I've ever heard of someone say, oh, that's an ugly leopard. They, um, they all say they, um, all say they're quite, uh, quite pretty, <laughs> quite beautiful. Um, but yes, each leopard is slightly different. But this, uh, this young male, it's always great to see. I think, Seb, if you don't mind, I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee quickly. <laughs> but it's, um, again, it's, it's special. You know, we worked, we worked quite hard this morning to try and see this leopard, but it was worth it. We're, <laughs> Alison, in the final control, says she's sure I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> we'll have our coffee break together, everyone. How's that? And celebrate, celebrate our victory of viewing this leopard. It's um, it's a bit tricky when you're driving around, but I suppose it's like tracking and looking for animals. 
if you if someone finds something else like one of the other guides did this morning they found this leopard if you don't have radio communication then how are you going to find them so it's a bit tricky this morning oh well maybe we just had luck on our side this morning hey seb Unfortunately for us, we, we've also got a massive advantage in, in that even though it's quite thick here, Seb is great on camera and he can get us the best views possible of these young leopards or leopard in general. Um, the other vehicles all moved out because they can barely see this leopard. <laughs> and you asked if Tumbo is smelling my coffee. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, excuse me a second. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Um, it's a bit difficult at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's, look where I'm parked at the moment. We've we've got about a one out of five visual. Um, uh, I think for for guests. Copy. Um, if you stick around, you might move again. I'm not sure. Copy. Thanks very. Copy that. Thanks very much. Sorry, I'm just listening to the radio. Uh, give me a second, everyone. I do apologise. It's just trying to get uh, obviously some other vehicles in here to try to see this leopard. So, sorry, I'm just listening, but I think the other guys are explaining to the vehicles how to get here. There's a road close by, I think it's called Shenzele Road. Now, Shenzele is actually the Shangan word for honey badger. That's what Shenzele is. I know that because I love honey badgers. <laughs> hmm. There we go, they found it quite easily. See, when they've got uh, radio comms, it's a bit easier to... I'm just trying to point where this leopard is so they can kind of see. But it's um it's so thick here. Uh, sorry, um, Meg. You were saying who, who said, who made the comment? What's more, what's more difficult, finding a hundred birds or finding one leopard? Na was it Natty? Um, oh, Maggie, Maggie. Sorry, Maggie. Yeah, I don't know, Maggie. I think, yeah. Almost this this one leopard this morning gave us a proper run around, but as I said, we when we first came down into this area, I said we're not going to try, we're not going to give up. There is a leopard here, so we just need to try and find him. But sometimes it is like looking for a needle in a haystack. We've 
have been lucky though with our leopard sightings. I'm just trying to think in the last week we've had we had Shadow and Cub, we've had Osana, we've had Tumba, we've had Tandi, uh, Tingana. It's five leopards in the in in the last week, eh, Sip? Yeah, with it's, you and know, I, five leopards. It's it's amazing, yeah, it definitely is. We sometimes uh, we sometimes forget about it. We almost take it for granted, but we've been so lucky with our leopard sightings. Now, I hope all of you are having a great start to the week. And ours has been a good start so far with 100 birds, a leopard, <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> I'm going to sit here a little bit longer, maybe this young male moves again for us. Let's go across to Taylor McCurdy in the Mara and see how her morning is going. 